Hey everyone, Road Breach here, and today we're taking a look at Shingiro Ningyodo the One. I bought this figure because it was described as being scaled to official Transformers figures, and that led me to believe it would feel like one as well, but more wrong I couldn't be. But we'll get into that in a little bit. So, let's take a look at the box. The box is very simple. The whole box is dark grey with some pictures of the figure and the company logo. The box is also pretty small, just being slightly bigger than the figure itself. So, it appears that SND have respect for people who like to keep the box. Now, onto the figure. The vehicle mode looks pretty good. The cab tabs together pretty well, but the windshield has some very noticeable seams, and it's very clear that the side windows are painted and the windshield is translucent plastic because they are noticeably different shades of blue. I also feel the headlights are too small, but that's a subjective complaint. An objective complaint would be that the bed of the truck is a mess, and the trailer hitch is too far back, and the back sticks out further than it should. I also don't understand why they needed to make the side view mirrors die cast metal. They stand out like crazy. What do these do that plastic can't? When I got this figure from the Shozi store, they included these faction badges in the shipping box, so I used one right here. Also, despite this toy having rubber tires, it doesn't roll too well. Now, despite all the complaining I've done, I do think this mode looks fine. So now, let's get into the transformation. Dear lord this transformation. I do like that it's complex and the end result is pretty good, but the fact that it says transbots on the stickers that keep the box closed should have been an omen for me. Castle, explain what I mean by that. X Transbots is a company that makes third-party Transformers figures that are infamous for transformations that have steps where you need to force parts past one another. And that's the case here too, because there are some steps in this process where you need to force things past one another, and some things barely have any clearance to go past. It also doesn't help that the construction and materials feel a lot like a model kit, just with some die cast and other standard fasteners. I also don't like the fact that there are some fake parts here, but that's not a big issue in the face of everything else. As for the robot mode, it looks pretty cool. From the research I've done, this is meant to replicate the IDW All Hill Optimus design, from what I've seen. From what I've seen, it's somewhat accurate to that design, with the mouth plate being incorrect and some proportions being wrong. But if you judge the design on its own as a modern design for Optimus Prime, then it stands as a good modern redesign of an iconic character. If I were to throw some complaint towards this design, then I'd say I'm not a fan of the mouth plate being angled up. As for accessories, he doesn't have a lot to talk about. If you don't like his perfect transformation hands, you can swap them out for relaxed hands, fists, or pointing hands, which swap out via pegs, and these can make him very expressive. You get his ion cannon, which is just cast in black and can be held in his perfect transformation hands. You get his swords, akin to the swords he had in the Bay movies, which can tab into his forearm kibble. You can open his chest for the Matrix, which is unpainted diecast metal. There's no excuse for this. The Matrix that came with MP10 is diecast metal and it's painted and has a translucent core. And you get a stand adapter that's useless to me because I don't have a stand that will work with this. Articulation is really good. This guy has plenty of joints and there's some that have really good range. There are some joints that are pretty limited, like the ab crunch and the neck, but there's still a lot you can do with this figure. Though I would advise caution with the hands because the thumbs will fly off if you're not careful. As for the size, this guy is the size of your average Transformers Voyager class figure. Overall, 
This figure is pretty good. SND the One is a cool looking version of Optimus Prime with some great posability, but the transformation and plastic quality are two things that keep me from loving it. If that's not enough to deter you from wanting it, then you may like this as an action figure. Thanks for watching, and gotta zoom.